CBS 2. Good morning, everyone. I'm Suzanne Lemonyo. We're interrupting programming because Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot is about to have a news conference to um, talk like about to the latest on coronavirus. Let's listen in. Profit leaders for joining us this morning and for their outstanding, and let me say that again, for their outstanding support during this crisis. There's no mistaking it. These are unprecedented times. As you heard yesterday from both Governor Pritzker and myself, the state of Illinois will be under a stay at home order beginning at 5 p.m. this afternoon until April 7, 2020. As a reminder, this means that residents will be ordered to stay in their homes except for essential travel. Here in Chicago, this is what this means. Let me say at the outset, this is not martial law by any means. Residents can still go to their grocery stores, food banks, convenience stores, and make pharmacy runs. And also, people can continue to go and patronize their neighborhood restaurants for pickup. And I want to stress there's absolutely no need for people to rush to their grocery stores or hoard any food or supplies. We are in constant communication with major retailers to maintain a strong food supply, and they have and they will. Everything will be, remain stocked and available, and I will speak more on this in a moment. In addition to food, banks, hardware stores, plumbers, and laundry services will also maintain operations. Utilities will halt shutoffs and late fees. Chicago roads will be open, and our CTA transportation will be running, and private services like Uber, Lyft, and other rideshare are up and operational. I want to give a special note of thanks uh, to the men and women of the Amalgamated Transit Union and all CTA workers for their sacrifice and service during this time. I also want to emphasize that residents are permitted to take walks outside. My wife and I took a walk this morning. A little brisk, but good for the soul. Just want to make sure that you maintain safe social distancing. I also want to remind everyone that essential city services will continue. First and foremost, our hospitals, clinics, and healthcare facilities are open and treating patients. And again, I will try to say this every single time I'm in public, we must commend the fearless healthcare workers who are sacrificing themselves every single day in protection of the public. Thanks to the men and women who are out there every single day making sure that our healthcare system remains vibrant and strong. Also, our first uh, responders, police, fire, paramedics, uh, call takers and dispatch dispatchers, garbage, sanitation, as well as our city staff will continue working around the clock as we address this challenge and flatten the curb to get our lives back to normal. Nonetheless, there will be changes. And we've been dealing with those changes all along this week. So the governor's order yesterday really is in line with what we've been advising and what we've been practicing in the city. In addition to closing bars and nightclubs, entertainment venues, and restaurants for dining in, any business not essential must cease all activity, with the exception of mini minimum basic operations, unless you can operate and home. The city of Chicago will be closing its libraries, parks facilities, and community centers. And we are fully aware of the challenges that this places on communities and residents from every walk in li of life. However, these actions are needed to halt the spread of COVID-19 and support the dedication and sacrifice of our healthcare workers. They're out there supporting us, so it's our job to stay at home to support them. Tomorrow, my office, in partnership with Sitter City, will launch a new program to help Chicago's most essential workforce, healthcare workers, first responders, and the teams that support them. This is intended to help them find reliable childcare that will allow them to continue their work on behalf of the city uh, amid this COVID-19 crisis. Finally, I call upon everyone to please remember to check in on your neighbors, especially the elderly and those with medical needs. I've said this before and it bears repeating. While this may be a time of physical isolation, we still need to be bonded together as a community. And one of the most important things is doing check well-beings on our friends, families, and our neighbor, and particularly those people that we know in our network that are vulnerable, that may be isolated, 
and will need just a little bit of support from a friendly voice on the other end of the phone. Please don't forget to do that. It's critically important in this time. I would now like to share some additional information about our food supply. In addition to grocery stores, uh, food banks and convenience stores remain open. I would also like residents to know that CPS will continue to provide packages of food to families in need. Offering free, free packages of food that contain three days worth of meals for every child in a household. Food can be picked up between 9 and 1 p.m. every weekday during the stay at home order at the CPS location nearest to each student. And that means you can go to any location that's convenient for you, not necessarily your home school. Meanwhile, we are working together in collaboration with these folks, the Salvation Army, the Greater Chicago Food Depository, and the Catholic Charities of, uh, uh, Catholic Charities of the Archdiocese of Chicago to ensure, ensure food access for all Chicago residents who may be in need during this COVID-19 crisis. Specifically, the Salvation Army's Metro uh, Division Emergency Disaster Services will be providing mobile feeding services and are able to prepare 75,000 meals in 48 hours. Residents and families can also utilize the Greater Chicago Food Depository's network of agencies and programs. Their benefits outreach team is also available by phone to help Chicagoans apply for SNAP, or Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, and Medicaid benefits. Please take advantage of that service. For benefits outreach, Chicagoans can call 773-843-5416. Seven seven three eight four three five four one six on Mondays through Fridays between eight thirty p.m. to eight thirty a.m. and five p.m. or apply directly with the Illinois Department of Human Services. And let me just say, with respect to the Salvation Army and the Greater Chicago Food Depository, man oh man, are they stepping up to help? They need your help. If you want to volunteer. Go on the website of either of these organizations. The time is now to step up and help them because they are helping us. Meanwhile, the Archdiocese of Chicago has a total of 120 sites operating to support residents. And Catholic Charities will continue to serve residents at their food pantries and evening meal, program, evening meal programs. I want to take a moment to personally thank His Eminence, Cardinal Blaise Supich. He has been an incredible leader from day one of his time here in Chicago. And in this incredible time of need, the Cardinal's character and leadership has really shown through. Thanks to him and the entire leadership team at the Archdiocese of Chicago for the incredible support that they are giving to Chicago in this time of need. And finally, I'm proud to announce that the support fund created by the Chicago Community Trust and United Way has to date risen $13.5 million for Chicago residents. Thank you to Chicago Community Trust and the United Way. As difficult as things are now, we are seeing the resiliency that is part of this city's DNA and our resolve to make sure that we do everything that we can to be neighbors to each other, to get us through this difficult time and on the other side. I also want to personally thank each of the organizations that are here today for stepping up and doing their part to support our countless families who find themselves in need. While our city may be bent, we are never, ever going to be broken. We will get through this together and grow stronger as a result. Thank you, and I'd now like to welcome Rich Guidas um, from OEMC um, to tell us a little bit about emergency 